Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you everything that I've been loving for the month of March. I was going to do this video last weekend but I really wanted to do the Bare Essentials video just because I wanted to open the box and I wanted to open it for the first time in front of you guys so I just decided that I'd do it this way. So anyways, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Maybelline The Blush Nudes Palette. I did not really know that this was coming out until like it was out out but I have the original The Nudes Palette by Maybelline and I really like that palette. I think this isn't like a high quality product. I mean, you can't expect that. It's only $10. You are kind of getting what you're paying for, but I think it is worth it. I think they're good everyday palettes. I don't know if I'd touch it if I was like really going out and trying to look my best, but for everyday work, you know, running around shopping, that kind of thing, I think they're really good. But this palette is really nice. I really like the pink shades in here. There aren't a ton, but the more that I've played with them, they come off more pink when they're on, which is weird to me. Now today I have this light pink color over here on and then I have this in my crease. And believe it or not, I didn't think I would ever be touching this color, but I also have a little bit of this in my crease too. Now it's not a lot of color, like I said. It's very muted, they're not super pigmented, but you just kind of have to pack it on a little bit. But they're blendable. I really like the colors. I feel like this one right here looks a little golden. And then so does this one. And they come off a bit more pink when they're on. At least when they're on me. And then these, uh, let's see, from like here to here are some good brown neutral colors that I have touched a little bit. And then this one, I'm not, I like to use like the lightest color in a palette, um, under my brows as a brow highlight, but this one I'd really have to pack it on, so I didn't use it, I haven't been using it too much, I don't think. But I have really been liking this color and this color, and I've also liked these colors. So I kind of pair this one and this one together, and this one and this one, and then you know you can play around with these um, down at the bottom to make the look darker if you want to. Moving right along, I also picked up the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel um, nail polishes this month. I just picked up these two. They were buy one get one half off at uh, Ulta, so I totally jumped on the opportunity. Let's see, the color that I got is Pretty Piggy. <laughs> it's number 210 and this is just the top coat. Now I posted a picture on Instagram what the color looks like. The color is really nice. I am going to tell you right now this does not last two weeks like it says it does. Um, I would say I had four good days. I'm sorry for the wind. It is really windy. It's always really windy lately when I film. Anyways, they didn't last two weeks. I don't even think you could say that they would last one week. Now, I feel like once it gets warmer and my hands aren't so cold and dry and my nails aren't so brittle, I feel like the cold has something to do with that. So maybe this summer they'll last a little bit longer but a couple of them did start to chip. Now I could have just removed it and fixed those two nails, um, but then also kind of like, let me put them down, like at the bottoms of your nails, they started to wear away. I don't really know how to describe it, but it just was like, like I was touching too many things with the ends of my nails and it was wearing off at the end, not to mention it was growing out too. Pretty quickly. That's weird. Anyways, I like it. I don't know if I'm going to buy another color, at least not for now. I want to use that one at least a few more times because i got a lot of nail polish that I never use. So I'm going to make myself use this one before I can buy another color. But if I do buy another color, I will show you guys what it looks like. Alright, the last makeup favorite that I have is the Real Techniques number 200 brush. Now this is one of the new brushes that came out in their lines. I can't remember what it's called, like metals or something. Uh, the brush handle is much different than the normal ones. Like, like this is a normal Real Techniques brush, totally different. So I picked this one up along with dun 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 number 201. But I'm not crazy about this one. I kind of decided that I would use this one as like um, to use it to apply eyeshadow to my lid and then I was hoping I could use this as a crease. I do really like this brush to apply eyeshadow to my lids. 
Uh, it's a little big, which is a little, little bit too big for my preference, but I have been liking this brush a lot, and I would recommend if you are looking for a new, like, um, not an all over, but just like a shadow lid brush, this is a good one. I did want to mention this one. I'm not crazy about it, but I think I need to play with it more. The tip is like, it almost hurts to get it in there in the crease. It's just so pointy and like, I don't know how to describe it. It almost hurts though. So, 200, good. 201, hmm, not so much. All right, I've got a couple of like fashion favorites, which is totally different for me because I am not a fashionable person at all. But the one thing that I have been loving the most this month are these earrings. And I got these off of Outlook last month. Well, I say last month because it's April now. I got them in March. <laughs> but they're called earring jackets and it's just one rhinestone and then it's got another layer of um or line of rhinestones down below my ear and I just really 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 like these earrings I probably wouldn't wear them with this outfit but I wanted to put them on for this video so I could show you guys but they are so pretty so sparkly I don't know if Outlook is completely out of them because I have seen them on there again since I ordered them and I don't think I paid, but I think I paid between like 20 and 30 for these earrings. It's amazing. It's awesome. And they're so sparkly and I love sparkly things. <laughs> okay, the other fashion favorite that I have, which isn't very fashionable, but it's this t-shirt. Let me stand up a little bit so you can see it, but it has a Superman symbol on it. And I just love this shirt. I got it at Kohl's in the guys section. Uh, they have t-shirts. I think they were like two for 20 or something like that and I picked one out and my husband picked one out but it's just a nice comfy t-shirt to wear um, on a Saturday like it is today or to the gym. I've actually worn it a few times to the gym and it's been quite comfortable. Alright so one thing that I've been trying to get into this month is being healthier and part of that involved buying some new things and two of the things that I bought recently I wanted to mention and one of them is the Camelback water bottle that I got. I'm going to show it to you guys. This part is uh, rubbery, like silicone-y. It stays on, it doesn't come off. And then this part's glass and the little thing pops up like that and you squeeze it in your mouth and then um, you can get the water out or whatever you put in here. And then it has, I also want to show you guys this part, has a straw that goes all the way down to the bottom. And I really like that because when I'm working out, I don't always want to have to tip my water back. So to be able to do this and then not have to tip my head back, I don't know, I just kind of like that a lot more. You can also hold it um, like this, so I'll hold it like that when I'm walking sometimes. But once it's full, it's really heavy. Like it's heavy without anything in it because this is glass. I mean, super heavy. But I really like this. If I drink, I've measured. <laughs> if I drink about three to four of these a day while I'm at work, I'm pretty set for my water intake for the day. So it's good to have something like this that I can measure with. And three to four of these isn't really a lot. I think I did figure out how big it is. And it's like, I don't know, I can't even remember. It took me forever to figure it out. I don't remember how I did. But I did. And I know I just got to drink three to four would be perfect. Alright, so I've got a couple more things. One of them is my new um, sneakers or tennis shoes, whatever you want to call them. I call them tennis shoes from Under Armour. I posted a picture of these on Instagram shortly after I got them, but I love these shoes. <laughs> they, pro I don't know if you're going to be able to get them anymore because I got them at the outlet. I am pretty serious about working out, but I don't want to spend a ton of money on shoes. I don't know, I just don't. So I don't really know if these are like worse because they were at the outlets or if they were at the outlets because they're orange. <laughs> but they match my car because I have an orange car. So I've really been liking these. I think it took me maybe a week before like I felt like I broke them in and they felt normal, but I just wore them today to the gym and I had no problems, no pain. Um, I think that, I believe if I'm remembering this correctly, it's flat is good for like treadmill running stuff and then if you are going to be doing like off-road and you're going to want, let me put one down, you're going to want like an indent here, which I'm not really doing much off-roading. 
let's be honest. All right, I just have one more thing, and that is the movie called Greedy. I think it came out probably eons ago, but I just watched it with my husband. He had seen it before and wanted to see it again, so we did watch that. It has um, Michael J. Fox in it. I am not a movie person at all, at all, but I really liked that movie. It's long and it's long. Maybe I was tired when I was watching it, but it felt really long. And it just doesn't, it, it's at its best point at the end of the movie. The last, I'd say, like 30 minutes are the best. If you can sit through the whole thing, you will be so happy that you did when you get to the end. But it's basically about this family. They have an uncle that's rich or that they think is rich. And they're all trying to fight to be on the will, I guess, <laughs> basically. Just so they can get all of his money. But it's a pretty funny story and I think you guys would like it. Alright, that was everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I will leave a list down below in the description box of everything that I talked about in today's video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram at HairByLizzyBug. I hope you guys have a happy Easter and a wonderful week. And until next time, bye! Took the salon <laughs> Try that again. Wait till the wind stops, jeez. Um, if you... <laughs> and then hold on. It's a beautiful day. Oh my god, I just broke my chair.